Uh, we've got another gentleman here that has a question on his mind. Uh, here Thanks so much. Wally Sale. Uh, I'm from Williamsburg, Virginia, just up the road here. Jerry, want to invite you to come down and join the uh, historical triangle down here sometime mm -hmm. in the future. Well, RM29047 is my uh, zip code. I'm sorry, that's my memory number, isn't it? I'm sorry, just carried away from that. I'm going to try to make it easy on your marketing guy. Do you guys do focus groups? And do we get any feedback from that kind of stuff? And Jerry, what's the future vision casting you have as the uh, CEO of Lionel? Where are we going in the future? As you know, we can't participate in the history. We can only participate in the future. How do we do that? Great question. Well, um, I think that one of the one of the things that I mean, I think that's again two part question because I see our company as two parts. There are there. Are, there are folks like you folks in the room who are experts on trains, who are experts in, in, in the history of trains, uh, right down to road numbers and renumbering efforts of specific railroads. And then there are people out there who, who if they know anything about us, it's very little. And our job uh, for the future, if there's to be a future, is to not only maintain the excellence of dealing with the past, and, and I think uh, not to do a you know, not to blow our own horn, but even in really challenging economic times, we spent a literal fortune developing uh, legacy, you know, vision, and, and I think that, that, that our commitment to the hobby, our commitment to the, to, the, to the best of what it is to replicate the past uh, is in that project, is in the stuff that we've made since then. So, so we're firmly committed to honoring the past, but we're, we have to be equally firmly committed to to acquiring a future and you know that sort of falls on our shoulders because our brand our name has the best chance of being able to gather a new audience and reconnect with an audience that 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 in many segments we 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 have failed to keep up with um, and to do that we we have to do things like that DVD that we just talked about that has a prayer has a hope of speaking to a generation that that has not grown up in trains that with 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 which we're competing to you know reach them with everything from you know video games to music to god knows what uh so we're launching a digital initiative to try and come up with 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 some embodiment of what lionel means in the spirit of adventure and fun uh that hopefully can resonate with kids uh, so we we do plan on you know, we are continuing in our efforts to to find new audience and bring them in so that 40 years from now, 30 years from now, 20 years from now, they're sitting in an audience like the one you're sitting in now. Uh, the, the, the ultimate vision for the company, though, is to fully develop or fully redevelop the Lionel brand. And so those efforts have been stalled by the past three years as well. Um, we'll be launching next year a full Christmas line of of you know Christmas ornaments and Christmas products and what that means is just as there were 60 years ago there will be a full assortment of Lionel ornaments in addition to those made by Hallmark uh, there will be everything from Christmas tree blankets to standing sets or standing uh, standing pieces that can that that can be brought out at Christmas uh, so we intend to get into a full line of Christmas decorations now what does that mean? Those aren't trains, but they are the embodiment of the Lionel name and how it resonates with a lot of people that aren't into model trains. So again, our, you know, the job, three parts really, continue to honor the past by making the best products we can make for your audience. The second is to, to continue our efforts to try and reach and resonate with kids and families and people that are not currently trained people. And the third is to broaden the scope of what it means to be Lionel, and that can be everything from, you know, Christmas ornaments to high-end model trains to play sets like little lines and things like that. So, you know, again, our job is to honor the past and to keep looking towards the future, um, and and doing all that, balancing all that with the realities of the times in which we're now living. That's my vision. It actually sounds more like my nightmare, but. <laughs> Jerry, we want to be mindful of your time, so we're starting to wrap it up here, but we've got a couple more here for you. We'll sure. see if we can get those in. Um, go ahead, sir. Yeah, my name is Richard Hallowell from uh, Southwest Illinois, 27489. Uh, you just talked about little lines. That was my question. 
I have a six-year-old granddaughter who uh, has been several years now looking through the catalog. There were supposed to be some additional accessories coming out. You get kids that little, they like to play with the, uh, you know, with the accessories as well as the trains. Uh, I noticed then you decided not to make those, and if that you know, is something that's dead in the water, or are you going to be making more accessories? I know he did come out with one other line, I think is a Polar Express or right. something, little lines, but uh, other than that, there's nothing to go along with the original set, and I wondered if that may come back, because she was very disappointed and keeps asking me, how come they didn't do this? And I don't know the answer to that question. <laughs> Um, yeah, well, I'm, I'm, ha I'm happy to hear that. Uh, little Lines, the DVD, things like that were, were large investments on the part of the company with, with which we, you know, unfortunately sailed right into the teeth of the, of, of the worst of what the economy was about. And, uh, you know, we've had to catch our breath and, you know, try to focus on the things that, that go to day to day. But what I can tell you is that there are new little lines, accessories, and products, uh, they'll either be cataloged this year or they have been cataloged this year. I'm not sure, but Matt can check that out for you. Uh, but you can tell your obviously very intelligent uh, granddaughter that, uh, that, that, that we are totally committed to that line. Uh, I personally love that set. I mean, it's, it's in the style and, and, and spirit of a real Lionel train set. It's got a lot of great play features. And uh, we sold about 70,000 of those when we launched it, which sounds like a lot, but it's very difficult to get retailers excited about a product that doesn't have tremendous media behind it and things of that nature. So, you know, it's, it's, if there's a common theme here, we're playing, Lionel is playing, our, our hobby is, 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 is playing in a, in a field that is populated by giants, and we are not a giant. So, you know, uh, our, so our steps are more halting. Sometimes if things don't go well, we, we have to take a breath and figure out how we're going to do it. But we're totally committed to little lines. We're totally committed to reaching kids with things like the DVD. Um, if I may add one other thing, uh, you know, one of, the, one of the things that Lionel is tasked with, I mean, we do have the ability to, to reach people in the, in, out in the world that, that are not trained hobbyists. But we also have the responsibility to service every part of that hobby. So our product catalog is, you know, a thousand and some pieces, and we make every one of them. We don't catalog them, and if we don't get enough orders, you know, uh, we basically are committed to populating the hobby. And at the same time, we're also committed to trying to repopulate the base of the hobby. So there's lots to do for a tiny little company. We're in many ways the, well, we're a large, large company in the model train business. We are the little engine that could in the world of real commerce. So. You know, we, we do appreciate your interest, your loyalty, and hopefully your patience. But, but thank you, and I'm really happy to hear that, uh, that, 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 that things like the DVD and like Little Lines have resonated with you and the folks in your lives. Okay, Jerry, we've got one last question for you here, so uh, we'll turn it over to him. Uh, hi, Jerry. This is John Catani again from Statesville, North Carolina. As you probably know, Mike Wolf has announced the acquisition of S Helper and the plan to get into S-Gage uh, for their product line. Does Lionel plan to increase their involvement with American Flyer and offer more in S-Gage? And do you see S-Gage as being a serious challenge to O-Gage? Okay, a uh, couple of parts of that. Um, I'm very happy to talk about S-Gage. Uh, uh, you know, I'm very happy to talk about American Flyer. I mean, the reason people like Bachman and MTH are getting into S-Gage is because Lionel, for the past two years, has uh, probably quadrupled the total sales of S-Gage in this country. Now, they started small, so, but when I tell you that our sales are up by about five times what they were in 2009, uh, and that's because we've made new product and, and put our operating system into it, so we have legacy in it, and uh, we've got lots of exciting things, including a ready-to-run set that's coming out this coming year. Uh, as I said, t you know, tooling for a brand new engine made in the U.S. that will have legacy and vision features. Um, uh, I'm, I'm not going to talk about MTH or any other train company because the name on the door is the Lionel Collector Club Association. 
So if you have questions about MTH, you should find a an MTH collector associate, association <laughs> meeting someplace and ask it there. Um, the, the, um, and, but, but let me be clear about one thing. No one ever won by following. We don't follow anybody. The business follows us because it has the luxury of doing that. And if that sounds arrogant, I'm sorry, but it's true. Because we can't just pick our spots and say, gee, this trend seems hot. Let's get into that. We have to service the entire business. And while, and, it, and I'm very, very disappointed in us for the comments I heard earlier about defeaturing and the, you know, disappointment in standard gauge, but it's all reflective of the fact that we populate the entire universe of the train hobby because we have to do that to keep stores in business, to keep the hobby going. Other companies have the luxury of picking a hot segment, getting in and getting out and not being committed to it or, you know, being committed to it for a period of time. We don't do that. But, what, but the important part of that message is this. We lead the world in S-Gage. Okay, now it's not a very big world right now, and American Flyer is a brand in and of itself apart from Lionel. We intend to, one, because people have shown us and told us that they have a great deal of interest in S-Gage, and we have responded for two and a half years by making things that hadn't been made in years, by increasing the number of products, by making track, by getting involved in ways that have pointed the way for other companies to get involved. So we're not following MTH or anybody else. They're following us. And, and that's, that's sort of our attitude about this. We make American Flyer because it's a great brand. People told us they wanted it. They, they have responded to our efforts to do it. And the answer is we're going to make a lot more of it. And if other people want to join in, welcome aboard. There you go. Okay, Jerry, well, listen, we're going to uh, go ahead and wrap up now. And... Uh, we appreciate your time again today, and what I'd like to do is just give you the uh, floor for a moment for any last thoughts. Yeah, well, thank you. Um, uh, I'm, I'm truly sorry that I'm not there. I was very much looking forward to, to being there with you. Uh, uh, those of you that know me know that I, I don't take anything a lot more seriously than our relationship with the LCCA. Um, you know, it is to me part of part of the company it is part of Lionel and we're part of the I mean we're part of the club you're part of the company uh, it is a bond that goes beyond convenience uh, or opportunity I mean it is really sort of the the core of what we are and what we do and 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 we're very happy to be there with you the things you tell us we take seriously many of them throughout the years I can remember back in St. Louis when uh, when, when when I had the floor and somebody said to me it was a very nice woman who said what on earth are you doing to get kids involved in the hobby? And that really launched Little Lines in our G-Gage series, which I know true collectors don't have much interest in, but, but I promise you we've sold hundreds of thousands of those things that kids have had interest in. Uh, so we get a lot of our enthusiasm, our inspiration, our ideas from conversations with you all, and that's very important to us. And that's why we have so many folks there. And again, I'm sorry that I'm not. So uh, thank you for putting up with a telephonic in, in, uh, interview. I'm sure it's not been very, very satisfying, but, uh, but I hope that I've been able to answer some of your questions. Okay, Jerry, well, thank you very much again, and on behalf of all the members of the LCCA, thanks for watching. <laughs>